Hello, this is for a 2005 Ford Taurus and what you're looking at down there is the top of the transmission and that's where the variable speed sensor or transmission speed sensor is located. You can see a bolt hole and then you can see the hole where the actual sensor goes in there. I'm just going to refer to it as a variable speed sensor. It's a little difficult to get to. <clears throat> Here's what it's going to look like, more or less, from the top. You have the <clears throat> electrical bracket. You have this little tab that doesn't require a bolt or anything. It just gets held down inside there. You have this protective shield that's on the top. Then you'll have this bolt, at least on mine, it's a number 8 millimeter that goes through the top and actually goes through the bracket and holds all of this down. That's the hard part. <clears throat> Other than that, it's a pretty simple part to replace. So you can see it has an O-ring on there and then somehow, electrically, I'm not sure, it senses the speed. This part right here as you can hopefully see, I don't know if you'll be able to get it. There's a small tab. Just a little tab right there. But the main thing is trying to reach that bolt, and you just wiggle this sensor out of there. <coughs> And then there's a bracket that it holds on to. Let's see if I can show a picture of the bracket. Yeah, I hope that shows it. Basically, it's a little bracket back there behind the transmission dipstick and you just basically want to replace this when your car is shifting rough or has random movement of the speed sensor sending mixed messages basically to um, your car so what you'll see sometimes On the inside, as your RPMs will probably shift a little rough, it'll go between first and second gear and you'll hear kind of a bang, um, or you'll feel sort of a bang. And then you might also see your speedometer moving erratically. Some people have reported that, where the speedometer will literally go at speeds that the car is not moving. And replacing this variable speed sensor sometimes smooths out the shifting. So the first thing I'd recommend is a complete flush. And uh, when I say a complete flush, I mean removing the pan. Sometimes you have a reusable gasket. And then the filter. And you want to clean that magnet in the bottom of the pan and make sure it's nice and clean. And get all that material out of there. Refill with the exact amount that you're supposed to have. Keep good track of the amount of fluid that you took out and how much you put back in. It may say that you require 13 and a half quarts, but the problem is if you only remove eight quarts uh, or nine quarts and you go putting a bunch of transmission fluid back in there that you didn't remove, you may end up with an overfill condition. So when you check your transmission fluid level on the stick stuff like that's going to happen where the whole stick is all wet you got to make sure you're checking it on a level condition either cold or hot get that thing fixed and then if you still have some difficulty shifting and some rough shifting this part here I got it on rock auto for about $15 with the cable. None of the parts stores in my area had this and all of them had to special order it. Cost uh, five bucks to have it shipped out. 
I'm hoping like my last Ford Taurus that I had, as soon as I replace this, it will shift much smoother. Thank you.